There is a lot of new technology in the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. We have an all composite airframe, and of course we have these lithium ion uh, batteries, uh, which had the, the recent failure. Um, the failure of the battery itself is not really the problem. The battery itself is quite a robust system. It works in lots of other kinds of systems. But now we put that battery system in a very complex airplane that has to work under a huge variety of environmental conditions and charging conditions and so forth. So we have a battery system which works, we have a charging system which works, we have an airplane which works, but together there's some failure. And actually finding that failure is very, very hard because it didn't fail all the time. It only failed you know, once in a thousand flights or whatever it was. Reproducing that failure is very, very difficult and is going to require a huge array of, of tedious uh, tests. So what we have is a complex system failure where the failure is very likely due to interactions among components and subsystems which on their own work, but together under some conditions don't work. So in engineering these kinds of systems, we need to have a really rigorous process to identify the failures in advance. That's very hard to do but it comes about through a process of architecting the system very, very carefully, and then engineering the system and all of its many interactions in a very careful manner. And then finally integrating, and through the integration, do a series of validations and tests such that when the whole thing together can be verified, we verified it under all these many, many failure, possible failure conditions. And that's a tedious process. Boeing indeed is quite good at it. Um, and what I expect will happen here is now that they're, they have 100 engineers working to retest and make these changes, they'll end up with a system that is now going to be robust to potentially many, many more failure modes that they've identified. Uh, and we'll have an airplane that when it flies again, it will be safer than ever. Here at MIT, we have an educational program, a master's degree program, where we actually deal with the development of highly complex systems. It's called the MIT System Design and Management Program. And in it, we talk about these elements. We talk about system architecting and decomposition. We talk about system engineering and the complexity of managing those networks of interactions. And we talk about system integration. How do we pull it all together in a way that it's robust and reliable? So here at MIT, we're training some of the best engineering professionals in this area. Boeing, of course, has many of them, many of our graduates and others who are quite good at this. And I expect that they'll get to the bottom of the 787 problems and this very complex system will be flying in the near future.